What's going on YouTube? It's your man Kenfo. This video is going to be a mobile video because I'm going to the store to get some groceries and it is a beautiful day. And it just reminded me to tell everybody, man, like, please don't worry about condemnation and worrying about your sins. They've already been forgiven. Jesus loves you. Like, people hit me up all the time like, I feel like I'm going to lose my salvation. You only lose your salvation because you lose faith. We are righteous through faith. It's not by works. If it's not grace, then it's works. And if it's by works, then, then you know, we're all screwed. We're going to be judged for our works, of course. Oh, that dream when I had when I was 17 about the coming of Jesus. Right there. Right there's the YMCA. And, like, right over there in that area was where, like, I was walking in my dream when Jesus came back. And like, ew, it was a crazy dream, man. Don't get yourself all worked up into a frenzy believing that you've lost your salvation because you can't stop doing your favorite sin. It's a gradual process. You don't plant seeds in a garden and expect them to grow overnight. It takes time. You know, when you're a child of God, you know, like a child of God, you're a child, you're going to mess up. A child's going to mess up a million times trying to please the father. But you know what? Only one person was able to do that. And that was our Lord Jesus. You know, he loves us that much. Jesus is our final atonement for sins. If he's not, I would advise everyone right now to go invest in goats and sheep and better get to sacrifices because, you know, like, we have all need some sins to get caught up on. But that's not the case. Jesus is our final atonement for sins. We don't have to go out and go buy a goat or a sheep and go to a temple and sacrifice it for our sins. Jesus is our final atonement for sins. If he's not... I would advise everyone right now to go invest in goats and sheep and better get to sacrifices because, you know, like, we have all need some sins to get caught up on. But that's not the case. Jesus is our final atonement for sins. We don't have to go out and go buy a goat or a sheep and go to a temple and sacrifice it for our sins. And, I mean, look at the current state of the world that we're in. I mean, we got Israel going to war with Iran. What's next? Peace treaty. What comes during the seven years of the peace treaty? The third building of the temple. What comes before that? The rapture, the great harpazo, the snatching away. You know, like, and for people that don't believe in the pre-trib rapture, they have to believe that because Jesus said there'll be one working in the field, or two working in the field, one will be taken and the other will be left. If that's not a rapture, I don't know what is. And just like when he died on the cross, there was two people. There was the thief that was saying, Lord, I believe you are who you say you are. Then there was another guy on the other side that was just like, if you're really the Christ, get yourself down and save us. He was a mocker and a scoffer. Just saying. One was taken, one was left. This is like the most ghetto barbershop I've ever seen in my entire life. Grace. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's been my whole message. So basically, my message is take a breath, chill, relax, trust the Lord. There is rest in the Lord. I love you guys, man. It's been my video for the day. Rate, comment, subscribe. Hit the like button below. Have a Nagila. Now, Lord, Jesus, Christos. Deuces.